Hey, Pussy Net, Pussy Net, new little video. Uh, this one I wanted to uh, do uh, a video of where I am in my prep. Uh, so, through the years, I kind of increase uh, different setup in my prep. Uh, I was doing radio a while for communication. So, I, I feel like I got a pretty good setup. Although it's not fully functional yet, but I, I'm working on it. But I feel I have enough knowledge and, and gear that if something would go wrong that I could uh, pull it out but um, now it has to play with it and get a little bit better with details but this year I thought uh, especially with the COVID-19 and at one point when they were talking about food uh, it felt pretty good that uh, my um, where I am with my prep would be food and uh, recently with different videos a lot of people on gardening I tried I started a little bit last year uh, but it was more just to get like how does it work and so I just grew up a few things Mo most of it didn't grow up uh, some did I uh, so it was not really to eat but was more for to see what it is all about like what what kind of stuff you need read a little bit about it but it was nothing too serious it was more um kind of just touchy and grow some herbs and I a lot of the stuff burned out some got destroyed with pigeons <laughs> they set up a nest and uh, other stuff uh, did grow and I got to use it uh, for some recipe mostly was herbs like I said because um, my main goal was not so much uh, because I had a small smaller balcony it was more about uh, growing um, herbs that I could use for not only culinary but also for uh, doing my own medication which uh, this year I think I'm gonna get back into a little bit more seriously uh, and again not as um, my main um, it just good again good skills to have just like a bow drill if you have a chance uh, a, cho a choice between starting a uh, a uh, fire with a lighter or a board drill, you would go with a lighter because it's easier and works better. But uh, if you have to, then you have the skills at least. So uh, making my own medication is a little bit the same thing. And by growing a lot of stuff, as you'll see some in the pictures that I'm going to show, it's growing crazy. And so I don't even have enough to uh, put in food. So uh, I'm preserving some. Well, so I was like, oh, might as well do some um, tinctures and all that, which will be good practice as well. And if I screw up the batch, well, I have more to come. So it's not as um, involving than uh, if I, let's say, would be in a serious, really serious situation where I would need to do medication or um, some herbs that you can purchase uh, are pretty expensive. So I wouldn't want to screw up my technique with that so uh, so based on that this year I started a uh, uh, gardening and I'm trying a bunch of stuff uh, so there's uh, containers there is as well um, hydroponic and two types of hydroponic and so uh, with further ado uh, let's start with the video so on this one it's my main containers as you can see there's different containers uh, there's some are pretty big uh, some are more the five gallon um, and in the five gallon I'm mostly growing tomatoes and the other containers uh, I got some zucchinis going on a lot of uh, parsley the parsley is just going wild <laughs> we just cut yesterday uh, some to uh, catch it up and um, we've been freezing some in little package uh, based on something I read on YouTube because we have so much it's 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 crazy uh, zucchinis are starting to show up we're seeing like little babies of zucchini so that that could be cool uh, it's gonna be nice to have tomatoes also are starting to grow so that's gonna be interesting to eat uh, I have also strawberries uh, sorry not stra uh, yeah strawberries yes not raspberries strawberries uh, and they're flowering so it's gonna be interesting to see how they grow up and uh, and another one too has rosemary thyme and that as well and also oh, some organo so we got uh, parsley oregano 
a rosemary, thyme, uh, mint, and um, yeah, mostly tomatoes. And, and even in the tomato, we have tomatillo, two type of tomatoes. Uh, and it's, it's going crazy. It's like, um, it was like very slow. And some of them were started from seeds, which was the first experience. Uh, and others were uh, purchased, like for example, the toma tomato would purchase as a little plant and they grow. And some of them, uh, because it got so excited, we purchased kind of early. And I think it was around April. Uh, and here was still kind of cold outside. And so some of them were kind of stunt growth and for afraid that we were going to lose. And then they just went. Boy choy also, or pak choy, I forgot which one we have, but amazing. It's, it's so cool. I think we're at the fourth time that we're cutting big leaves. Awesome to eat. And literally go out on the balcony, cut some, cook some, and then you they restart we're growing uh, you know, the next two or three days you have to regrow as well so that's a, a nice one that I'm gonna grow and probably even um, when uh, the hydroponic will start going inside will probably continue because uh, it's a great green uh, I love Asian we're starting to cook a little bit more ramen noodles and things like that especially with a restaurant close um, have to do our own things and so we're starting to redo um, what we would do usually going to restaurants and four soups and things like that. And I'm finding some cool recipe that are very quick to do, nice to do for lunch. Um, and the uh, pork choy um, are awesome. On the next video here, that's the hydroponic. Um, so we got uh, a few experiments going on. Uh, first of all, the first videos I got into hydroponic, a lot of people were talking about putting sterile water so that way it's easier and you don't have to buy all the machines to see how much um, residual you have and everything but it became pretty expensive because every time that you and you have to go out and buy some and then you have to change the water and again that's a lot of gallon of, of water distilled water that you have to use so we're doing an experiment right now um, uh, so we have three containers. One has sterile water, uh, distilled water, sorry, not sterile water. One was, uh, we just boiled the water to kind of clear and see if it would help a little bit. And then the other one's just uh, regular water. They have all the same um, mix in um, for the growth. And we're seeing if we're seeing any difference. So far, I don't see any difference, which is a good sign because that means that we won't have to work so hard and just fill out the water um, and actually even uh, the regular water that we have and also change our products that we were using um, we're using the flora gloom or something like that which has the three uh, different uh, setups uh, three different components that you can use depending of if you want to flower more your your uh, your grains or you want to keep it more on uh, so you can play with how much you're putting and so far working great the pH is much better balanced with all those trees so um, and uh, the uh, so those are Kratsky methods which is uh, a method where so a lot of people when they talk about hydroponic they say it takes a lot of electricity and all that because you need to have lights and stuff which if you're doing inside, yes, but right now what we're doing is Kraski method outside, and so far it's working pretty good. The Kraski method, uh, one advantage of it is that you don't need any pump. You don't. So what you do is you take a bucket like uh, those those three that are there, and you just fill it up, and basically the plant will, uh, as it takes nutrients and water, it will grow slowly and. As the water goes down because it's taking all that it needs it it leaves air uh, because the roots are going lower and lower there's a, a better distance for the plant to breathe and so basically the whole system is kind of self-contained so you do your mix you leave it there and then you don't have to change it you don't have to really adjust it you let 
the plan doer things and so it's actually pretty cool because then especially if you go for a trip or something like that and you don't need electricity uh, on the other side uh, we're trying another setup which this one is more what the typical uh, hydroponic when you watch it uh, they, and I think they call it hydroponic because it's kind of a spray so just started that recently uh, that was like the first video but by the time we purchased all the right gear for it, it took us a while to get to it and so that's in the black and yellow uh, uh, tote and what it does is that every two hours it sprays the uh, the medic the nutrients to the roots of the plant and then it stops and then it sprays and stuff that one needs a pump and so the pump runs on the two hours it's just because of the timer that I got uh, usually I think they're supposed to say it's 30 on 30 off or something like that but so far with the timer that I got it's easier to do the two on two off so um, so it, it's running at that we just started that so I will keep up a little bit maybe a later video uh, see how it, it works and um, uh, but it's it's kind of an interesting so we're, we're having this to try to figure it out um, we have another setup that we want to do because as fall will start and get cold outside we would like to bring that inside and there uh, and downsprout but we're having uh, uh, rain sprout and uh, well downsprout the uh, water gutters downsprout there you go. <laughs> and uh, they're, they're actually cool like if you're able to find the right size because um, you can close it and they look pretty nice and you can set it up differently and you can basically put it at different place because uh, uh, the house the way it's set up is the sun kind of goes up like this and so then we can have like we have sun on one side of the house and on the other side depending on the day of of, uh, of the time of the day uh, so we could put some stuff on one side and some stuff on the other side and uh, because the sun kind of um, the way it works it, you can get two place that has some sun and so uh, hopefully we'll be able to use the regular sun um, but on the next video uh, this is our hydroponic microgreens starts and so on the first one the big white container what it is is that once we sprout stuff uh, we put it in there and also transplant we started there so it's kind of our starter bin and it has a different uh, lower it's more um, seeding uh, mix for the microgreens uh, for the sorry for the nutrients and what it does is that it starts uh, the growth and then when it, it has a good uh, setup of, uh, of the roots then we can take that out and put it in our outdoor system or a bigger system because now the roots um, are more set up it works actually pretty good we had containers that we already had here and one of the issue that we had is it's transparent and so we're seeing a lot of algae but this setup you're supposed to not uh, like they don't stay there very long like maybe a week or two uh, and you're supposed to change the water regularly as well so we thought initially it would work but uh, we're still working on that we may have to buy another um, but uh, I think it has 60 uh, small containers that we can start and so uh, plants kind of goes there it's called our stage two because stage one is when we have the, uh, the seeds and we start from the seeds and then we put them over there and then it goes and the last videos uh, that's our new uh, add ups and setup we just finished that this weekend and what it is is that it's uh, for microgreens and so we have full lights inside timer 17 uh, I, think, I think right now it's at 16 on 8 off and basically it's trays and we're still playing with this uh, we brought all the seeds and the trays uh, so now what we're figuring out is the medium the best medium to use we bought different one the first batch we tried it was kind of a strange color to it we're not sure if it was the humidity or the medium or us and so because there's a lot of uh, new thing to start uh, so we're gonna run a few experiment and as when I start getting a little bit better with it, then um, 
more constant production. I'll make a video of what it looks like. But basically, um, the whole uh, thing is there, and there's three places that we can put trays. Uh, sadly, when we bought it, we did the calculation, but the trays are too wide to have two like this, but not long enough to, um, uh, it's too narrow to have two trays side by side, which the light could, could use, but um, it's not long enough uh, for the uh, the lights as well. So the lights extend a little bit. So we may have to buy a new setup, but Right now was to start us and see if it's worth it and all this and stuff So where we hope to be able to do with this is that um, When the fall comes down to start bringing things in and maybe continue like I was saying pak choy or things like that So we have a whole bunch of seeds now that we're going to try eat some micrograins and grow up in them um, and um, yeah so uh, so far it's been very interesting well interesting it's frustrating especially at the beginning uh, especially with the hydroponic we tried this this technique that really we were using not technique but a project that they recommended but a lot of uh, gear that didn't work well uh, now we're a better start. It seems to be growing and seems to be going somewhere. Um, the seed seems to be producing stuff. Uh, we're starting to see what YouTube's been kind of a teacher because nobody around kind of knows. And usually when they, we go to stores, we have a few hydroponic stores, but they're more for the big tents and growing uh, whatever plant they grow in those things. Um, but that's not really what we're into. So we've been look, watching a lot of YouTubes and now the videos are pro, uh, of results start to look more what the videos took like ni nice white uh, uh, roots and big ones and all that. So uh, we'll keep up, uh, we'll keep update. And uh, but I wanted to do a quick video of what the setup looks like right now and uh, I'll continue to do updates and I'll talk to you soon.